In this video, I'll teach you how calendars actually work in Microsoft Project. In Microsoft Project, there's actually three calendars. They are the Project Calendar, the Resource Calendar, and the Task Calendar. The order of precedence for these three calendars is as follows. The project calendar controls the initial schedule of each task in the project prior to assigning resources. When you assign resources to a task, the resource calendar of each of those resources takes over and controls the schedule of the task. And if you want to totally override the current schedule of any task and the resources assigned to that task, you can apply a task calendar. So I want to show you how calendars actually work in Microsoft Project. So let's get started. First, I want to talk with you about the project calendar. And specifically, I want you to notice that the design task is currently scheduled during the week of June the 29th from Monday through Friday. However, there's a problem with this task schedule because Friday is the U.S. holiday called Independence Day which occurs on the 4th of July. So what's going wrong here? This schedule doesn't look right. To diagnose the schedule issue, I'm going to click the Definition ribbon tab to display the Custom Definition ribbon. If you don't already have this Custom Definition ribbon and the Customize Quick Access toolbar that you see on my screen, there's a link in the comment section below so you can download them into your own copy of Microsoft Project. So the first thing I want to show you is the View Calendars button, which will take us to the Change Working Time dialog. I want you to notice that up at the top of the dialog, the Standard Calendar is currently selected as the Project Calendar. And I want you to notice that this calendar has no exceptions listed on the calendar. There's no company holidays. That's not good. Now, if I click the four calendar pick list button and choose Dale Co. Standard, what I want you to notice now is the exceptions grid shows company holidays spanning from 2024 through 2028. That is the calendar that I want to use for scheduling this project. So to get out of the dialog, I'll click the Cancel button. And now, in order to set this calendar, what I need to do is click the Set Project Calendar button to display the Project Information dialog. And over on the right, I'll click the Calendar Pick List button, and I'll choose Dale Co. Standard, and then I'll click the OK button. Now, that's not enough. I also need to click the Set Non-Working Time Calendar button, and to choose exactly the same calendar in this dialog. Notice Standard is still selected, so I'll click the Calendar Pick List button, Notice now that Dale Co. Standard is listed as the project calendar. By the way, you're probably wondering, what is this non-working time calendar and what does it do? Folks, it only does one thing. It's a display calendar. It's meant to display gray shaded vertical bands in the Gantt chart screen. Those gray shaded vertical bands represent weekends and company holidays. So when I click the OK button and then I take a look with you at the new schedule 
for the design task, notice it does span Monday of the first week through Monday of the second week because there is one day during the first week, which is the Independence Day, the U.S. company holiday on Friday of the week. So right now, the schedule is correct for the design task and for all other tasks in the project. Next, I want to talk with you about resource calendars. To do this, I first want to switch to the resource sheet view. And I want to show you the resource that I'll be assigning to the design task. His name is Jerry King. And there's something very interesting about his calendar I know you want to see. So to look at Jerry's calendar, I'll double click his name to display the resource information dialog. And then in this dialog, I'll click the Change Working Time button to display the Change Working Time dialog. Notice up at the top of the dialog, I can see clearly this is the resource calendar belonging exclusively to Jerry King. This controls his working schedule on each task to which he's assigned. Also notice, Jerry King's base calendar is the Mexico schedule. Because Jerry works in our Monterey, Mexico office, he follows the Mexican holiday calendar, not the U.S. holiday calendar. So if I were to scroll in the calendar grid to July of 2025, notice that July the 4th, is listed as a working day for Jerry King, 8 a.m. to noon, 1 to 5 p.m. It's not a company holiday in Mexico, even though it is here in the United States. So I'll click Cancel to get out of each of these dialogues, and then I'll go back to the Gantt chart view. In the Gantt chart view, I'll right-click anywhere in the white or gray part of the Gantt chart screen and choose Show Split to display the task entry view. In this view, I'll select Jerry King. He'll be working on this design task full-time over a time span of five days. Then when I click the OK button, Microsoft Project updates the schedule for the design task. I want you to notice that Jerry King is now assigned to work full-time Monday through Friday of the week of June the 29th. You can even see how the Gantt bar spans into the non-working time on Friday you're probably going to say, Dale, that schedule doesn't look right. But if Jerry is working on Friday, yes, absolutely, the schedule is correct. Again, I want you to know, you can trust the schedule in Microsoft Project. Let me talk with you a little bit more about resource calendars. So in the bottom pane, I'm going to click the button called Next, which will take me to the Build task. What I want to do is assign Karen Stewart to this task to work full time. I want you to notice that the Build task is scheduled Monday through Friday of the week of July the 6th. Nothing unusual, that's a five day task. When I click the OK button to assign Karen to this task, oh no, something crazy just happened here. The Gantt bar for the build task now spans Monday of the week of July the 6th through Tuesday of the week of July the 13th. What in the world is going on here? Something is not right. So let me show you next how to troubleshoot 
issues caused with scheduling by resource calendars. Here's the first thing you should do if you see a strange schedule after assigning a resource. Double click the name of that resource to display the resource information dialog. Then click the Change Working Time button to display the Change Working Time dialog for that resource. Again, you can see this is the resource calendar exclusively for Karen Stewart. What I want you to notice, however, is Karen Stewart has two days of PTO. They are July the 10th and the 11th, occurring at the end of the first week of her task. So let me click Cancel and Cancel. Now the next thing you're probably going to be asking is, well, Dale, the duration is five days, but it sure doesn't look like it. This Gantt bar is spanning seven working days. What's going on here? So let me show you a second trick for troubleshooting scheduling issues caused by resource calendars. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right mouse click in the view bar at the far left end of the task form pane. And I'll select the task usage view instead. Now let me go ahead and scroll over here so that we can see the schedule of Karen Stewart's work on the task build. Notice again, the duration is five days. The Gantt bar seems to be spanning seven working days. How did Microsoft Project come up with five days duration? Everybody, count with me. Let's count the number of working days together for Karen Stewart. One, two, three. Nothing on Thursday, nothing on Friday because she has PTO. Four, five. The schedule is correct and the duration is correct as well. Now I'll go ahead and right click again in the view bar area of the task usage pane and I'll go back to the task form pane. So on the task build, I wanted you to know that the schedule of the build task is correct and the duration of this task is correct as well. In this project, please notice that I've already assigned resources to the final two tasks in the project. On the test task, I've assigned Larry Barnes. And on the implement task, I've assigned Luke Blackbeard. Now what I want to do is talk with you about task calendars. Remember that a task calendar is a schedule override that you apply to a task and the resources assigned to that task to apply a totally different working schedule. Before I show you how to apply a task calendar, let me show you a special calendar I've created in this project. I'll go back to the custom definition ribbon, and once again, I'll click the View Calendars button to display the Change Working Time dialog. In this dialog, when I click the Four Calendar Pick List button, I want to show you the special Weekend Work Only calendar I created in this project. Notice that every Sunday and Saturday, it's a working day, 8 till noon, 1 to 5 p.m. And every Monday through Friday is non-working time. I created this custom calendar specifically to be a task calendar for any task that needs to be scheduled only on a weekend. So when I click Cancel, let me show you the situation that I face. 
The implement task is currently scheduled Monday and Tuesday during the week of July the 20th. However, this task needs to be scheduled only on a weekend to avoid possible disruption to normal business processes that occur Monday through Friday. So how do I apply a task calendar as a schedule override? Here's what I need to do. I'll double click the implement task to display the task information dialog. In the dialog, I'll click the advanced tab to display the advanced page. Down at the bottom of the dialog, there is a calendar pick list button. Remember, the calendar that we see listed here is override calendar. Right now, none means there is no override applied to this task. So what I'll do is I'll click the calendar, pick list button. I'll choose weekend work only. I'll also select the checkbox called scheduling ignores resource calendars. That is because the resource schedule needs to be overridden along with the task schedule. When I click the OK button, Microsoft Project will display a warning dialog letting me know that I'm going to be forcing the resource to work on a weekend even though that resource doesn't normally work on a weekend. Don't freak out when you see this dialog. Just click OK and the override is done. Now look at the schedule for this task. Notice it occurs only on Saturday and Sunday. That means the task schedule is correct according to the task calendar I've just applied. So the goal of this video is trust the schedule of the project calendar, resource calendars of the resources assigned to the tasks in your project, and also any task calendars you might apply to tasks in the project. So now you know how calendars actually work in Microsoft Project. As always, I sure hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you have a comment, be sure and leave it in the comments below. And if you would like to hire me to provide Microsoft Project training for your project managers, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll reach out to you in response. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.